They say going from one to two kids is a big deal, but going from two to three, I think that's the line. It's the line. Going from a small yeah. to a big family. Hello, and welcome back to our fire life. Today is Family mm -hmm. Fuel Friday. And today we're talking about going from two to three children. Our circumstances are a little bit different because Caitlin was married to four and had Alina. Mm -hmm. She's 11 now, so when we had Millie, Alina was nine, nine already. Mm -hmm. And that was a big adjustment for everybody at the time, but now that we've thrown Lincoln in the mix, right. and it almost feels like we went from one to two children again. Because essentially, with the girls' age difference, now you don't notice it as much. What I'm trying to get at is it was a big adjustment for Alina and for myself for sure and I'm sure Greg because he was a first time parent more or less because he wasn't around for the newborn stage or all that with Alina but now it feels like we have two separate families almost. At right. least for me it does. Right, and I try to remind her, like, even though Alina is 11, we, I mean, we have three kids. So well, yeah, I know that. And I know, even if Alina it isn't doesn't feel as... a younger child and doesn't require, like, the, like, precise attention at the time as this younger right. child, because they don't quite understand that we're still having to give her, she just needs as much, if not the same amount of attention as the little one. No, I know, I agree. What I'm trying to say is, like, I don't feel like we've taken as big of a hit as families do as they have, like, three right. and under, or even five and under. Right, yeah, 303. Three. I just, I don't know how you guys do it. Ooh. If anybody's watching that has 303, three. you guys are amazing. <laughs> they say going from one to two kids is a big deal, but going from two to three, three is big, and then anything after that is what it is. You feel like you got this and after that point. I just feel like when we went from having just Alina and Millie to going from Alina and Millie to Lincoln, it just was a huge difference. I feel like way more of a strain on the family than just having Amelia there. See, and I, I feel like it was a bigger strain going from Alina to Millie. And maybe that's because I had Alina for nine years by herself. You know what I mean? Like I had nine years with her and then all of a sudden we threw in a new kid and it was like, whoa. Well, I feel like I when didn't you, feel it as much with Lincoln. When we had Amelia, like it was easy. Like if Millie needed tending to and Alina was needing something, it was like, oh, okay, yeah, you, you take divide. her and yeah. I'll take her and right. we're done. We're right, good. Right. Now it's like, okay, well, Millie's over here screaming. <laughs> Alina's down in her room calling Crying about something. Caitlin about something. And then yeah. Lincoln needs to eat. Needs to eat. Right. So he's wanting her all the time. So then right. I'm essentially having to handle the other two right. well, a lot I just more sit than there I was. So yeah. Maybe that's why it's more on me this time than it is. For that you. could be. You you're feeling it more this time. Right. I remember the first time we went out to eat after we had Lincoln. And yeah. Going from oh a table of four to a table of five, it's just like whoa. It just to seems, say that. It seems yeah. like going from like okay we're a small family to a, like there's I think that's the line. It's the it's line. Going from a small yeah. to a big family. Right. And I come from a family. I've got nine brothers and sisters, so there's twelve of us. Eleanor, went. no. She's trying to knock my coffee off. Speaking of, you keep talking. I need my coffee. You know, I had 10, 12 people in my family, so if we went out, it was a big deal, and we hardly ever did. And now I understand why, because I'm gonna stop talking, because you're like Did shit. I shake the camera? Yeah. That makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> But going from four to five, like it's a hassle to take them out. All the stars have to be aligned. <laughs> right. To to have a nice yeah. meal out. Otherwise, you right. like melt down. Sit down or... and melt down. And Millie's spilling water on, their, <laughs> on the table. And Lincoln's <laughs> hungry, crying in his seat. And, and then Alina's Alina's not back happy there like this. Because they're eating somewhere that she doesn't like. Right. You know? <laughs> and so you're trying to cheer Alina up while one of us is usually him taking care of Millie. And then I'm like, just latch on, Lincoln. <laughs> but then it's so hard. I don't know if any of you moms have had to deal with this but like if you sit in a booth when you go to nurse I don't know about you guys but the table is literally like all ready to your chest and then you're trying to like shove a kid in there in between the table <laughs> like just flop it nurse. down and put the kid on the table you got a plate you can get a plate far <laughs> no, teach him to eat off work. a platter <laughs> so you're like stuck and you like can't move while you're nursing them you're like please when you have just two kids it's well, you got two parents, two right. kids, you got two Divide problems, and you can take care yeah. of them. And then you got three kids, two parents, you've got three problems to take care of. Somebody's getting left out. Right. Or left behind. Right. And I feel like that stresses me out. Totally. It does, because, yeah. You know, and you feel like you're not being a good, it's easy oh, to right. feel like you're a worse parent than, with three kids than two. I feel right. like when we had two, we could divide to con conquer, and now right. it's like somebody's getting left out. And unfortunately, Typically, Alina. With Alina being older, like I said, she can take care of herself for the most part, but I feel like she gets left out, which isn't quite fair because no. I think she needs as much, if not Absolutely. more attention. Because she's just 11 and she's just kind of trying to figure it's out that age, yeah. who she is and things are changing. Right. And she's got a lot of hormones racing, you yeah. know. So I think she needs 
a lot of attention. I don't want to let her Down. fall behind yeah, while we're I trying agree. to raise the other two, you know. Right. Well, and she gets left behind essentially because she has more patience than Amelia or Lincoln. So we could say, Alina, wait, let us put out these fires with these two and then we'll come back to you, right. which is not fair, I agree, to make her sit and wait while we're tending to other two. Well, yeah. and like, I don't think Millie and I don't even think Alina quite understands. Like, Lincoln, when he's crying and hungry, like, that's he precedence. Needs, that's first. Right, that's gotta yeah. Take, that's gotta happen right now. Right, yeah. And I don't, it's hard for them to understand the patience. And right. Alina's getting there. I just feel going from two to three was just like a total life changer for Yeah, for I us. feel like you've struggled with it more than me. Well, maybe it's just Lincoln. He's just really weird about food. Texture. And texture yeah. stuff. So, Caitlin typically breastfeeds him probably so, 90% of the time. Yeah. And I can't feed him, even though he tried to latch on to me the other day. <laughs> Like, so nobody funny. we're laying in bed and he's like oh what's daddy has one of those and yeah. he's kind of like doing Play. this and he goes <laughs> I'm like, no! And he like dove for him. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing. I was like, yeah, try it. Go ahead. And Greg's like, oh my gosh, no, get him off of me. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Anyway, we're getting off on the subject. So the car, going from two to three children and your car situation. So for a while it was great. It was no big deal. And then once we found out about Lincoln, we're like, oh, we're gonna have to put another car seat in here. So as soon as we installed Lincoln's car seat with Millie's already in there, Alina's seat went from nice, spacious side to literally like 12 inches. inches. I thought it was 12. Yeah, she can I don't know what like measured this it. In the car. She has to get in and I help her buckle before we, click before Lincoln we can click Lincoln in. <laughs> and now I always have to tell her to watch your elbow. And then she's like sitting like She'll this. She'll sit like this in between, yeah, one arm on Lincoln and one arm on Millie. And then Millie flips out because Sissy's touching her car seat. <laughs> so then Alina has like scoot in. So we don't take my car very many places. We all no, fit we comfortably truck. in the And luckily truck. my front seat folds up. I made sure yeah. I got a bench seat in the front because yeah. we actually have room for one more kid for one more. in my truck. Don't so. worry, we're not having another one yet. <laughs> Caitlin used to babysit for my sister and they had a yeah. mini van and they've got some nice features in them. Yeah. She, we're anti, like we don't want I a don't want a van. No offense to anybody who has them. They are nice. Like they are, I had to get one as a rental and they're pretty nice but I was like uh uh I'm not driving a van. You talked about getting a van the other day. And then I talked about, yeah and Greg caught me talking to Alina about it and he's like what'd you say? And I'm like nothing. I want an explorer. <laughs> <laughs> but they are nice. They have nice features and it, that button and sliding the door. Anyway, why doesn't anybody make like an SUV, like a square SUV with a sliding door? Come on, car makers, do it. I'd buy one of those. <laughs> it's just hard getting them lined up. And especially if you have three car seats, I can't even imagine. Even homes, you could have a nice three bedroom home. You have the mom and dad's room and then each child has their own room. Throw in a third kid, now somebody has to share a room. Which is not a big deal. Sharing rooms isn't a big deal. I don't think at first I thought it was odd, but then Greg and I talked about it. You I just sleep in your room. Two to three kids in one room. Well, yeah. yeah. Like literally, what do you do in your bedroom besides sleep? Yeah, like if you have a play area or you know something for them to go you know, you do. You make like a triple bunk bed and where do you go? <laughs> right there, you go. Cram them in Someone there. Someone can sleep in the closet. You know. <laughs> Babysitter situations, it's hard to find a sitter that will take care of three kids. Plus, most people that you know have kids of their own. So you're looking at, say they have two kids, all of a sudden they're having to watch five kids now, then just three. Or like a teenager, you don't necessarily want to throw three kids at a teenager because they might not know how to handle that. They say going from one to two is hard, but two to three, I felt has been difficult because there's two parents and three problems. You know, and somebody gets left behind, and I, like I told Caitlin, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So whichever kid's crying the loudest, yeah. you're going to take care of first, unfortunately. To. And I talked to my brother, and brother's getting ready to have a sixth child, and yes. I was like, I don't know how you guys do it. Like, three kids, it's tough. It's and he's kind of like, well, after three, it's kind of all, you just kind of roll with the punches. You know, I guess you get just, as parents, you get worn in, you know? Yeah. Like a good pair of shoes. It takes a little while yeah. for them to feel right and get your, right. get your groove Kinda on. Kind of get your groove in. You know? Yeah, that's for sure. But I guess the more kids you have, the more experiences you have to handle situations. True. Like, Millie, like her tantrums was hard to get used to, I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know if she's having less of them or if we're dealing better with them. That could be, yeah, you know, it could be both. I even. think we're both just getting seasoned and right. learning how to handle her cues and stuff. And same thing with right. Lincoln. Uh -oh. Speaking of Lincoln, <laughs> he just woke up. He's in his car seat. But I just want to let you know, like going from one to two kids for us, it was different for us. And it's going to be different for you. And going oh, from yeah. two to three, it's going to be different for you guys as well. But just be ready for the challenges it faces. Like I said, you got two parents and three kids. You got three problems. You got two people to take care of. Somebody's getting left behind. And that's hard to deal with when you first become a 
parent of three because you feel horrible that somebody's getting left behind. Your kids will learn to deal with it too and it gets difficult but uh, you'll make it through it. Oh yeah, you you'll know. get through it. We're not veterans by any means. Oh no. You know, Lincoln's <laughs> only eight months old. Right. It's rough at first, that's for sure. Yeah. The newborn, if, after you have three kids and a newborn, because a newborn just requires so much attention and it seems right. like with both parents that you're almost leaving the other two behind. Right. For a little you know. while there. Get ready to deal with some jealousy also. I don't think we mentioned that whole aspect of no, it. No. That's to be expected though. You guys are all doing great, I'm sure. Oh yeah. You know. And if you guys have tips or tricks, please tell us. It's super know. easy to feel defeated as a parent. And oh, that's yeah. kind of also why we created this this uh, series yes. to talk about parenting and relationships and pretty right. much anything. But it's all part of growing and learning as a parent yeah. and a husband and a wife. And mm -hmm. you guys are doing good. Oh yeah. And obviously, if you're on here looking and watching this video, you're must be expecting a third or thinking about it <laughs> or just trying to survive. Just hanging there. It can be a struggle. It can be a battle. But you know, the kids will. It's always worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, I feel so blessed to have our three little ones. Me too. So if you have any suggestions for us, comment down below. If you would, hit that subscribe button. It's down below also. And by subscribing, you're supporting our channel and helping us grow yes. and make more content like this for you guys. Thank Hope you, you enjoyed it. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.